Smart Life. This is an important Smart Life uh, segment. It might save your life. So this year, 2 million Americans will contract cancer. 2 million. And a lot more will have it and not know it because they don't go to regular checkups. Okay? About 612,000 Americans will die from cancer this year. Next to heart attacks, cancer is the biggest killer. And it's painful, unbelievably painful. And the treatment of it is painful, horrible. You do not want to get cancer. So there is a study uh, for the Journal of Clinicians, okay? And they found that there are five main contributors to cancer that people can avoid. And here are the five. First, smoking. That's obvious. If you smoke or chew tobacco or any of that, you are inviting cancer into your body. Excess body weight, if you are obese, if you are consuming copious amounts of sugar, you are inviting cancer. Alcohol consumption, this is new. It used to be, ah, a few drinks of this or that. It depends on your physiology. Some people cannot, cannot tolerate alcohol. And the alcohol goes to their liver, goes to their internal organs, so, there's that. This is my problem. UV radiation exposure. That is the sun. So 10 days ago, I went to my dermatologist, who I go to three times a year. All right, you can come back to me now. I go to my dermatologist three times a year. And on my, I noticed it. On my ankle, all right, there was this little thing, and a guy had to chop it out. Now, to give you a little anesthesia, it doesn't, the chop doesn't hurt, but it's pretty significant. Big bandage on it, this and that. But if I, had, if I didn't do it, then it would have developed into skin cancer. I have had on my body about 18 things taken off. Why? Because I was a lifeguard. And I played sports with no sunblock. In the 60s, sunblock didn't exist. In fact, People were taking aluminum, putting their chin to reflect the sun into their face. Remember that? This isn't a sunblock. It was, you know, copper tone, and there was a little girl with the dog, you know, brown. Well, I'm Irish skin. If you're Nordic, European, whoa, okay? So that is a huge part of the cancer Tableau, you got to watch the sun. I still go to the beach a lot because I'm in the water and I'm doing all kinds of things in the ocean. But I'm under one of those UV umbrellas and I've got uh, a swim shirt on, a wetsuit sometimes, and, you know, I'm covered. I can't tell you how many people are just there hour and hour and hour just laying there. Oh, and the sunblock thing is good, but it's not going to stop it. And the final thing is physical inactivity. So if you let your body deteriorate, you're not using your body, walking, running, stretching, exercise, whatever it may be, well, it's much easier for the cancer to spread. You know, the immune system blunts the cancer cells. If your immune system is weak, because you don't do any exercise and you eat a lot of sugar and junk, fried foods, fast foods, then the cancer is much easier to get in. So, smart life, all right? We want you around. We don't want you to get cancer. That chemotherapy, killer. Thank you for watching. To view full episodes of the No Spin News anytime, sign up to become a BillOReilly.com premium or concierge member today.